What we got here? What, uh, do we, what do we got here? Electrician brought a ladder over. Um, Why? Told us he wasn't qualified to put the leg on. That's right. That's. I, that is so spot on. Honestly, actually, this guy's gonna laugh when he sees us. But it's going in the video. It is what it is. We can't stop it. All right. So apparently, he said when he picked this ladder up, you can't get the uh, adjustable leg on the shorter ladder. Now this is how long a ladder is this? It's a 16 foot. So it's nine and a half. It's a nine and a half foot. We'll call it a 10 foot. It extends to 16 feet. Now, actually, we thought about getting a ladder similar to this. And it's funny. I told him the reason why we didn't. Well, actually, I think for since we're builders, I think I want to go up to um, the orange, which is the higher rating. With him being an electrician, this is perfectly fine because he's not he's not carrying up the weight that we are. Now, either way, so he brought this uh, leveling leg over, and it's made by Werner. Uh, I got to be honest, I did not realize how universal it was, and so this one goes on both the aluminum and the fiberglass ladder, but it you can pop it off and put it over on either side. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to install it. Now, we actually have some of the longer fiberglass uh, um, Warner ladders that don't have the adjustable legs. So I'm kind of glad he dropped this off for us to experiment on his ladder. That way we can get everything worked out and do it right on ours. So, <laughs> but either way, let's get to it. What are you doing over there? What am I doing? Acting like this is the first time I'll open this box. Wait a minute. Let's look inside this box to see what's inside of it. Oh my, look at this. Okay, so we got instructions. Of course, I had to read up on this. Let me see, that's all different language. I got it, English. I guess I gotta read it. Um, That's for the electrician. That's not for us, but in the instruction, it does cover uh, your different style of ladders. So, let me come on over here. If we come to the bottom, let me, let me bring this up a little bit. Pretty clear, pretty clear picture of this brace right here. Need to go. And no and the brace right there. So we have direct swage, swage construction with bracing. Right here. Instructions for Warner fiberglass extension ladders with direct swage construction, bracing only. Now, it, it shows right here that we have to come up five and seven sixteenths, and then four and a half, four and a half. Now, you're not gonna wanna do both those measurements there. What you would wanna do to get your final hole is go nine inches. Um, anytime you do double measurements, it would be a it would be a tolerance stack up, and you can end up with a miss miss measurement miss measurement. Okay, so it says to measure five sixteenths from here up. I always use tape. Always use tape. Five and seven sixteenths. Let's just hook it right there. It says four and a half inches from there. And another four and a half inches, which would be nine inches. Uh, don't I would not recommend measuring four and a half and then measuring another four and a half until I'm off a little bit. Okay, so the measurement here, center line of the ladder from here to here. They're saying to do it directly in the center. Three and three eighths. 
uh, half of three inches is inch and a half, half of three eighths is three sixteenths. So, seven sixteenths, right? Yes. Inch and eleven sixteenths. Right there. Alright, so that's our first hole right there. Second hole. So what I did is um I took this Christmas tree. It actually has eleven thirty second step. So just so that way I did not go into the next one, I taped it up. Since we would be going up the ladder this direction, this is your left side. They send this glue, so they have you sticking these on, like so, mm -hmm. Put, and putting a little bit of glue on. Let's go throw these together. This one's already glued up. So that's what that looks like. The Let me see. This is the left, right? Yep. And that's the side we need. Double stacked. Already glued up. Got my three bolts. Nine foot pounds it says it's supposed to have. I'm in the center. Let's do it. You know what? Nine foot pounds is more than you what you would think. we go. Sounds like a radioactive one. Okay. I'm going to put this on. We're going to see how far. Right there. You see me? See I'm 100% level? We're going to see how much. How, all right. Here we go. <laughs> I got to get the gears tightened up. Uh, uh, it's 45, 45 degree turn. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get you to that torque range. All right, so let's try this thing out. It's got these, I refer to them as key mods. Um, what's another thing that they... Slots. It's a slotted, all your racks are set up that way. Put it in there. Okay, and so how do you make it extend? You got a pin here, it goes in there. What? Nice. How do you get it to retract? Um, so it looks like they have this to where you flip it out and you can push it down with your foot. Same up here, you can push that. With yep. Your foot. So. Nice. Nice. Alright, so we went ahead and leaned the ladder up there. Both of these are already on there. Go ahead and connect it. There you go. Pretty slick. Your gutters need cleaned. <laughs> well, since you're up there, oh, you know what? As repayment, as repayment, should the electrician should clean our gutter. So, there you go.